हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू डिजी बाइट्स आई एम राघव गुप्ता योर ऑल्ट्रिक्स एक्सपर्ट एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट एन अदर इंटरेस्टिंग यूज केस ऑफ ऑल्ट्रिक्स वेयर वी विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट हाउ वी कैन यूज क्लीनजिंग टूल एंड फॉर्मूला टूल फॉर हैंडलिंग द नल वैल्यूज इन ऑल्ट्रिक्स देन वाई वेट लेट स्टार्ट now you could see the familiar screen of voltrix first of all let bring in the data that contains the null values so i will drag my input data tool here i will go to the file selection and in my recent connection history i have this data set which i want to drag in here which contains some null values so i will directly click here and let me run it and now you can see we have seven fields which are year industry code industry name rme size group variable value and unit and also if you see here we have in the value and null values and wherever we have null values in value we also have in industry code so let's see more examples of this so here again again so you can see we have null values in both industry code as well as value let's drag in the select tool and see what is the type of these different columns so value is by default v string let's change it to let's say integer 64 and for others let them remain as it is and now run it there is no effect on my data but only the type of the value has been changed here so now what i will do is i will use a data cleansing tool of alltrix it will be found in here in the preparation tool palette so i will drag this tool here if you can see we have multiple options so right now in our output there were approximately 17028 records so if uh, let's say by default i am not selecting replace null configurations here i will try to remove null rows or null columns so i will check this and check this as well and we'll try to run it let's see if anything happens so there was nothing that happened uh, with the, this particular selection because there was no row which was complete nil null or there was no row which was uh, or there was no column which was complete nil null so that's why it doesn't affect it so let's just for our understanding add here one column and say temp and create this column with the null values so i will run it so I, at this step i have one column temp which is null now at this step this column has been removed because it was entirely null so that's why uh, these two data sets or those two configurations are used here to remove the entire null rows or entire null columns now what we will do is we will uncheck these uh, data configurations here and now we'll utilize this now it is saying replace nulls with blanks in string field and with zero in numeric field so in our case value is a numeric field and this industry code anzsic is string field so if i take both these options so in this case this will become zero and this will become blank instead of null so let's run it
So if you see here, value has become zero and industry code wherever it is null, it has become a blank. Similarly, we have other option in the data cleansing tool where we can remove unwanted characters like letters, numbers, punctuations, tab lines, breaks, white spaces, trailing white spaces, or different sets of all white spaces. Or if we want to modify the case, let's say we want every data set to be in the title case. So this activity A is already capital unit, U will also become capital similarly for this. Let's run this now and see by ourselves. So if you see here, we have all the data in the title case, even for the unit where it was totally capital. So in this way, we can utilize the cleansing tool for cleansing of our data, for handling the null values and for handling the null values which are of different types. Also, we can do this by creating a formula in the formula tool, but as we have direct options where we just need to tick mark the things and think logically what we wanted. So it is quite easy to implement this and to utilize this data cleansing tool for handling the null values. In case you have any further questions on this topic, you can always reach out to me via comments or an email or if you have more ideas, we can create more things out of it. Thank you everyone for watching this video and please do subscribe our channel.